many developers approach tactical AI by asking, how do you make smarter NPCs? A better question is, how do you create intelligence through systems? I'm going to share with you the three systems I use for creating NPCs that function as a tactical unit and it will keep hunting until the target has nowhere to run. Here's the challenge many developers face. We naturally think about AI in terms of individual NPCs. We create behavior trees or finite state machines for single NPCs and try to pack all the intelligence into that one system. This thinking leads to bloated, hard to debug AI that struggles with coordination. But what if I told you that the most convincing AI comes from the opposite approach? Instead of making individual NPCs smarter, you distribute intelligence across multiple specialized systems that communicate with each other. In my tactical AI demo, no single NPC is particularly intelligent. Let's start with the first system, State Trees. This is Unreal Engine's newer behavior system and it's perfect for this architecture because it's designed around clean state management rather than complex decision trees. Each NPC has three primary states. Attack when they can see the player search when they've lost contact and idle. The beauty is in the simplicity. Each state has one clear purpose with clean entry conditions. The state tree doesn't contain tactical intelligence. It's purely reactive. It responds to conditions and executes actions. The intelligence comes from what feeds into those conditions. The second system is the Director AI. This is where the tactical intelligence lives. The Director is an actor component in the game mode and operates on a simple but effective principle. Pre-calculate flanking positions and distribute them on demand. The Director runs an EQS query at set intervals, let's say 5 seconds to find optimal flanking positions around the player's current location. These positions get stored in a vector array, creating a pool of tactical options. This approach is brilliantly efficient. NPC Alpha requests a position and gets the first location and is removed from the array. NPC Bravo requests a position moments later and gets the next available location. Each NPC gets a unique flanking position without any complex coordination logic. The beauty is in the timing independence. Even if the EQS query updates the array while NPCs are moving to their positions, it doesn't matter. Each NPC already has their assigned coordinates and will complete their movement while new NPCs get positions from the updated array. Hit the like button if you find this valuable and leave a comment on your thoughts of an AI system you would like to see in a future video. The third system is the Environmental Query System or EQS. This is the Spatial Intelligence Engine that powers the director's position database. EQS doesn't know or care which NPC will use each position. It just finds the best tactical locations and hands them to the director. The director takes these positions and stores them in its vector array for distribution. As the player moves around the level, each EQS update refreshes the tactical options. All positions that are no longer relevant get replaced with new ones that match the current environment state. The director's array stays current 
without NPCs needing to know anything about EQS. This interval-based approach is much more performant than running EQS queries every time an NPC requests a position. One query can serve multiple NPCs, and the computational load is spread evenly across time rather than spiking when multiple NPCs lose sight simultaneously. The architecture also scales elegantly. Adding more NPCs means more state trees, but the director and EQS systems handle increased coordination without exponential complexity growth. To dive deeper into the tactical AI demo, I've included a link to the project files in the description. If you would like to know more about Director AI and EQS, watch these videos next, and I'll see you there.